guys, welcome to this week's edition of the Daryl MP. We don't know show yet. <laughs> but, but two teammates, two old ex teammates with me today. Brent Bookwalter. There he is. And uh, do this. Sam Bewley. We're actually discussing about cycling in general, how hard it is. And also, I'm going to get a bit of a chat with Brett at the coffee shop about retirement and also how that's going. Con mi amigo aquí. Lo habla en español contigo. See with the boys. Ah, Bills. One thing that pisses me off about guys that go to coffee shops is when they do this. Helmet on the table, yeah. You know what pisses me off about when we go to coffee shops is you never pay. Yeah, well, it's uh, normal. What are we going to do with that? Put it on the floor. You don't put your dirty, grubby, sweaty, smelly, stinky helmet here on the, on the table. Let's talk about etiquette. You want to talk about etiquette? Like people what that do is, that stuff. What is coffee shop etiquette? Don't come in your cycling kit. That'd be a good one. <laughs> don't, ride, don't ride here. Don't ride here. Drive to it. <laughs> Drive to it. What about the pain? I reckon like... Normally it's like it swims around about, so... Normally, normally you pay, but then I, I was when I was gonna pay for you, you were just taking too long to decide. Yeah, like, it, was, it was confusing. And there's so many nice things at this coffee shop. I wasn't sure how much you're gonna eat. There's a couple of good guys that you've always gotta. If you're going for a brew shop ride, you want to go on the air brew shop ride. There's like some guys that are that renowned always. that will just pay. Durbo. Durbo. Happy's pretty good at it. Happy. Me. Uh, you. I don't. I don't even remember what. Normally that's what you do, you say I've only got my card. I've got, th I got thistles in my pockets. I can't get it, there's too many thistles in my pockets, I can't reach my wallet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Normally, normally you say, oh, I, I've only got my card, boys. <laughs> and the guys are like, well, I've, also, I've also only got my card, but... I've only got a 50. You know? oh, oh, I, I can't find my card now. Brent, you've retired now from cycling. How has it been the first four months? Did you think it was going to be like... You think you're gonna have lots of time to yourself, or you like still Mr. Racing, or? Some things are harder than I anticipated. Um, some things are even more enjoyable and, and more rewarding. And riding your bike, is that more enjoyable now? Or is like without having a goal? Yeah, um, both. The, probably what I miss more than the racing is the the, the purpose and the, uh, like the, the goal setting orientation of the training and feeling driven and purposeful every morning to ride. And what about being with the boys? Do you miss that? Yeah, and I miss that part a little bit too. I miss the, I miss the team dynamic and the guys and yeah, in, in the best situations. I mean, I don't, I don't miss, um, yeah. Racing. I don't what was the, the what was the straw that broke the camel's back for you? To stop? Yeah, to stop. To call it a day. I don't think there was any one straw man. It was a thousand straws. It was death by a thousand pieces of straw. What are the risks? The risk for sure time away uh, from home my body was getting tired and then really like just wanting to um being ready to like kind of get on with like the rest of life yeah getting i was realizing that i was more excited for the, the even the unknown and the opportunity of what could come next than i was to just keep doing the same thing that i have been for my whole adult life and now that you've stepped away now you know what are you up to now i am being a dad being a husband, my wife's finishing up a PhD. We got our two-year-old, Waylon, and I'm working with the Pro Cyclist Foundation. I help provide support to pro cyclists and teams. It's good, it's a little, it's a little bit in the sport still, yeah. um, I, which I didn't have any really expectation. I thought I would like, 
kind of say good riddance and totally leave the cycling world. But it's been nice to have a reason to, to stay in touch with you guys and pester you and, um, yeah, help some younger riders and leave them. See, these are, these, are one of, these are some of the good guys in the sport that actually still try and, like, they take a lot out of the sport, but then they still put back in, right? So, guys, it's Brent Bookwalter doing amazing things <laughs> and um, amazing things. He, he actually did the tracker 360 gravel race so he still enjoys his bike that a lot. was an amazing thing i rode for 15 hours yeah yeah <laughs> solid solid one testament to the body and you've learned uh, some cycling etiquette at a coffee shop bills today Just go home come on go home let's get out of here we got that's it First, got to pay for these drinks. You can't just walk away. I told you, I only got a card. Oh, you remembered bottles. your card. A few bottles up there. Yeah. <laughs> it works, the card. Oh, I'll find out. We even get a free coffee. <laughs> get a free coffee. <laughs> this is the, this pay. is this is what happens when he offers to pay for something. You can give it him for free. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, eh? When it's his turn. That huh? was my round, though. It's yours next time. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's a bike exchange service course. Hey? <laughs> ah, how far I've come. Our service nice. course. Our here. service course is someone waiting there for you. It's bigger, it's better. Now it's buffet style. It's buffet style. Oh, buffet Take what style. you want when you want. <laughs> so you come to fix your punch, huh, Bills? I'm just going to change it now. I, I change. was going to. I was going to just take a tire home and do it, but I know once I get home and have lunch, I don't want to do it, but I need, need to do it. So. No mechanic here. Still got rim brakes. Look at these guys. Rim brakes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Bills, I'm going to love and leave you. See you, mate. Enjoy changing your, your tube. Thanks. It's tubeless, actually. Okay, Good seeing you again. Tubeless. So there you guys go have it. You're inside the bike exchange uh, service course <laughs> with the mechanic himself. Resident mechanic. Only joking, that wasn't the bike exchange service course. That's actually a satellite service course they have, which is a smaller one here in Girona. Our team actually has a big one out, uh, out of town and uh, that's our proper full-on service course. And uh, that's luckily why I live in Girona and I've got access to a service course and a team that's right here. Uh, ah, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, clip of the boys. And uh, some of you always said, do I train alone? Not always. So hope you enjoy the ride. Chat soon. Be lekker. And uh, look forward to the next episode.